Hi everyone, welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing something that looks a little bit like stained glass. I saw it on a lady's channel. Her name is Kathleen Miller. And when I watched her video, I'm like, that looks so cool. I got to try it. So that's what I'm going to try and do with a 12 by 12 canvas. I do have it on my Lazy Susan, so we will be doing a bit of a spin. So it's a swipe and a spin. And we'll see how it turns out. Alrighty, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And everybody that keeps coming back, of course, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Please keep the comments coming and the thumbs ups. It really does mean the world to me. Now my acrylic paints, I'm going to be using a mishmash of colors. These are all leftovers from previous paintings I've done. So I couldn't even tell you for sure the brands. Most of it is Arteza and it is mixed 50% acrylic paint to 50% my mixing medium which is Sargent's Art mixing medium pearlescent highly recommend this stuff I love it all right all of those tools you see me use I also get off Amazon there is links in the description below if you click one of the links and buy something I will get a tiny commission on a gift card from Amazon to replenish some of my stock so let's start doing this I'm just going to start putting some color down now this one for sure is the Arteza's Violet. My white is ready to go. I'm going to try and use up as much of this color as I can because it's all again leftover paints from previous paintings. And of course I love this Violet Purple from Arteza. Okay, there's one color down. Now I'm gonna do my Garnet Metallic from DecoArt. I've thinned it down a little bit because the metallics are quite heavy. So it's a little bit runnier than my other paint, but not by much. You know what, look at this coming out. This is not the Garnet, this is the burgundy I made up, which is red and black with a little bit of blue mixed in. This one is the garnet red right here. I'll put this one down next since I already talked about it. Now I know it looks like it's going to be a big mess, but it's just a drizzle of a whole bunch of paint. And then you swipe it. Now I've got my copper and my rose gold mixed together. I just did it to lighten it up a little bit. And again, this one is from a previous painting. Okay, so now we'll do another color, which this one is the treasures. You know what, I should probably put my glasses on. That would help me when I do these paintings. <laughs> I have got treasures gold, purple topaz. This one's highly recommended by Kathleen on Cause Creations. So I'm gonna try that one too on this painting. It's a little bit left over from a previous. Drizzle that around. Very pretty color. I can see why Kathleen on Cause Creations loves it so much. Gorgeous color. Okay. Now I've got this one's going to be, I think, the Amethyst Metallic. Yeah, I would say this is the Deco Arts Amethyst Metallic. I'm not going to use very much of it because there's still a lot left in here. Okay, I'll be putting my lid back on that guy. Now this one's going to be an artist loft, probably a bright magenta is the color. I'll be saving some of that too. Okay, so now let's put down some of my pearl, metallic pearl. I'm 
gonna be lots of paint on here. That's well, okay. So now we've got Mars Orange. This one's an Arteza. Not my favorite color in the orange family, but I'm gonna put it on here anyhow. Cause it does have a little bit of a gold effect to it when it's dry. There we go, use that color up. And I got a little bit of sapphire blue in the metallics left. Not too much in the way of the sapphire blue. Okay. Now I got my turquoise blue. Love this color. Can you tell I want to use every drop of this stuff? Love the turquoise blue. And then I've got the Arteza's Chromium Oxide Green. I use these for, this for my flower paintings, but I had a little bit less, so I figured I'd put it in here too. Got lots of paint to mix up again, but. For now, just use up what I got. Okay, then we got Arteza's Oxide Yellow. Doesn't look like an attractive color in the container, but it's actually quite pretty when it dries. Kind of a brownish yellow. Okay, now I've got all my colors that I had mixed down, so now we're going to do some swiping. Now I've got, I don't know if you guys go to your paint stores or not, but they always have these recommended color cards. I always grab some because sometimes I get stuck on what colors do I want to put together, what do I want to paint. So I grab some of these cards and I look through it and pick what I want to do. So I also use them to cut them up for swiping. They're just like a playing card. They're perfect for swiping. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got my black right here with a little bit of silicone in it. I'm just gonna lay it down here on my plastic lid. Try and reuse everything. Dip my card in. And we're gonna start swiping color through. Now I like to start in the middle and work my way out. I'm just going to slowly swipe it, give it a little bit of a wipe, use the other end. Swipe it through lightly as well, flip it over, swipe this side. Now I'm going to be spinning this so it doesn't have to all be even because it's going to be spun pretty much <clears throat> with a full force to get some paint moving. Okay. Now my black's got a little bit of silicone in it. I think I put about two drops in it. Not much. enough to get my painting done. Now hopefully you can see already the cells starting to pop up, which is pretty exciting. Right 
here. I think I'm just going to take that color with the black I got here and just swipe it down too. Okay. Almost ready to turn it and do the other side. I'm going to go right here again. Here. Just do a tiny swipe there. Okay, let's turn this guy. Making a huge mess on my table, but that's okay. Let's get some more black down here. Start in the middle again. Look at how awesome that looks. I haven't even torched it yet. Card happening. Just about ready to give it a torch and give it a spin. I feel like I'm making a big mess. Black always makes such a mess. bit more paint in here. Okay. Boy, I guesstimated my cards to almost exact to what I was going to need because I'm on the last pre-cut card I have. Okay. That's lots of color down there. Let's give it a torch and see if I need to change any of my so-called rivers of black. I might want to swipe a couple of areas. It still might have too much black. We'll see. Okay, let's give it a couple of seconds. Yeah, I think I'm going to take just one smaller piece in a couple of areas. Oop. Let me see here. I'm going to go right here and do a slight swipe right here needs a little bit of a swipe Oops. right here for sure Right 
here. I think we're doing pretty good here. This video is probably going to be a little bit longer than I usually do only because I've never done it this way before. So this is me learning as I go here. I'm thinking there's some color under here that needs to come out a bit. Okay, I'm going to stop being picky and let's just give this another quick torch. All these wonderful colors are popping up. And then I'm going to give this a spin. Okay, let's see how we did here. Move this stuff out of the way. Okay. Be ready to get a little bit dizzy, you guys. Here we go. Now it's definitely got some crazy cells happening. Stretching out nicely. I think I want to wreck it a little bit. I'm going to, just because I think it looks so cool, I am going to take the one corner, oops, <laughs> wrong end of my paintbrush, this end, Yes, I like that a lot. Okay. So now, I know you don't want to do it too much, so I'm just going to go right here. Let's do one more and then I'll give it a spin. I'll do it right here. Okay, let's give it another spin and see what it does. You guys dizzy yet? <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. While it's spinning, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell right beside it will let you know when I upload another video and it's free to do it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and means the world to me so please hit that subscribe button okay it is slowing down enough oh that looks really pretty you know what I don't think I'm gonna mess with this anymore I'm gonna try and get it off my lazy Susan I'll hold it up Look at that, just beautiful. I'm just gonna tilt it back again a little bit. There we go. This turned out fabulous. I love it. Thank you Kathleen Miller for posting that video and showing me what you do. Cause it is, I love this, this is awesome. All right everybody, thanks very much for joining me. I'm sure there's another video coming up that you're going to want to click on, stick around and watch. Thanks again, everyone.